Hey, beloved, I was about to go to sleep. I'm all out of my church clothes and all out of my pretty Sunday best. Um, but I got up out of bed because I wanted to come and make this video for you. Um, God says that he's wanting to do something new in your life and that he wants to have you make room for him to do something new in your life. And by make room, there's going to be doors that close. There's going to be relationships that end. There's going to be things that he tells you this season is over and it's time to begin and end again. And the other day I was hearing the Lord say, and I don't think I shared this prophetic word, but I began to hear beginning and ending at the same time. And it sounded like begin ending, begin ending as I was praying over young woman at church it, the, the Lord I was trying to say that God is saying there's a beginning and an ending happening in your life but it was saying but I was saying begin ending begin ending begin ending and when I kept on saying that out of my mouth the Lord told me that it was because they were happening at the same time and it's like this scripture verse that talks about how the sowing the reapers will overtake the sowers. I'll put it in the link. I think it's Amos. I mean, in the description. But it's when the the plowers and the the sowers overtake that when when one person is sowing and one person is reaping reaping in the field at the same time. In other words, sowing implies a new beginning. You're putting something new into the soil and reaping. Re I would, implies the end of a season because you're at the end and you're ripping that harvest. But he says that they're going to overtake one another. And that's the scripture that he gave me because, and it, it, it also implies that it's something that's going to be expedited and it's going to happen quickly. But that's not the only other thing. It happens so quickly that the beginning and the end are happening at the same time. And so it may not be a harvest, and a sowing season, but it is a beginning and an ending that is happening in your life at the same time. And he wants you to make a room. So think it not strange that he's putting on your heart to cut people off, to end certain agreements, to end certain covenants, to do certain things because he wants you to make room in your space, in your life, um, uh, in your finances, Whatever it is, if this resonates with you, resonates with you, then God is asking you or allowing you to know ahead of time, or maybe you're already in the middle of it, that he is causing things to come to an end. And at the same time, beginnings are happening and it may be happening so fast that it seems like it's happening together. He's closing up and opening at the same time, but there are others who there's going to be an ending and then a beginning. So some will see it happening together. That the thing that has to end is actually um, happening one after the other. For the things that are happening together, it's as if one thing is happening, one thing is ending, but it is opening up a door to the other thing. One thing is ending and at the same time, it seems like new doors are opening or new things are happening um, or those things are forcing you the things that are ending are forcing you to choose something new. Well, it's God's will for you. And then there are the things that God is saying, make room. He's causing you because sometimes we don't make room in our life. So God make, helps us to make room. And so the things that he is shutting down, that's because he's forcing you into another direction. But then there are things that he's saying that he wants you to do. And those are the things that are harder where God asks us to end certain things in certain seasons to end the season well. And so... He wants you to do it with grace and gratitude and um, integrity. So if you have to end a relationship, agree, an agreement, a covenant, a contract, an end of a season with a certain person, a certain company, even a certain church or um, a, rela a business relationship, a ministry relationship, or um, any other type of connection um, with a organization or a person know that God is calling you out and you feel like it's time but you're waiting for permission or you're waiting for a um 
confirmation to step into the new, to complete a season. I believe this will be a confirmation for many of you. And, and to not be afraid, but to know that it is the Lord leading you because he's saying that season is over and it's okay. And the other thing that the Lord allowed me to know is that sometimes we stay in things too long because we're afraid of the unknowns. We're afraid of what's next. We have that we have become comfortable and familiar in our old place and um, we know what to expect. And so um, and maybe there's a financial benefit. Maybe there is other benefits that are involved in you staying where you're at and staying in an old thing. Y'all forgive me that my clothes are uh, inside out. I was just laying down. I didn't even realize that my pajamas or my lounge clothes, actually. Long day at church. I came home and shut it down. But we stay in things, right? We stay in things. And God, it because it's easier to stay. Um, but that God whispered to me that when you do that, you're not trusting him. You're not trusting him. You're saying, this is how I am being provided for right now. This is how you provided for me in the past. But God is saying that I'm going to have to let, you're going to have to let that go. You're going to have to trust me. And so it's like when the children of Israel went into, the, the Lord had provided for them um, 40 years in the desert. And then he said, now you're going to have, you're going to go into a new place and you're going to eat better, but you're going to have to um, fight or work for your food. It's not just going to come to you. So when God calls you into a new season to do a new thing, it's not always going to be easy, but God is with you. And as long as God is with you, then you can be assured that he's not going to forsake you. He's not going to leave you hanging. You're not going to go without. And he is with you to fight and to give you courage to do what you have to do and to continue to provide for you in different ways. And that's just the word, whatever it is. It doesn't have to be financial provision. He's there to give you something better than what you had and that doesn't mean that the relationships or the covenants or the connections um or the contracts or the things that you were in are are bad or that people are bad or that they did you wrong what it means is that the season has ended because god is giving you room to, he wants you to make room for something new and he wants that person to make room for something new or those people or that organization to make room for something new. I remember leaving my former church I had been at for 22 years and I knew it was time for me to go for several reasons and it wasn't that my church was bad or that I didn't love the people or love my pastors or you know there every church has issues. There's no perfect pastor. There's no perfect church. There's no, you know, and, and, and if it was perfect, then you come and then you mess it up and it's no, not perfect because there's no perfect people. So I like to tell people that so we can be clear that we don't pick out everything that a person or a pastor does. But I knew that the Lord wasn't having me go into this new season there and the new season that they were going into. And I knew it for some time, but I was just praying, God, how do you, what, you know, it, are you sure? And where are you leading me? And how is this going to work? And then there were some things, some confirming things. But the point is that it doesn't always have to be bad. It sometimes is God leading you and it made room for the people to do for new people to do the thing that I had done before I had led women's ministry for 12 years and I guess for 12 years from 2008 to 2020 and then I stepped down from that I released that and then the next and then I had led um, prayer from or I think about that time 2008 no maybe 2010 10 years maybe that's what how long it was after that I was already part of intercessory prayer but I let that until I left in November of 2021 and God was making room for other people even though I believe my pastors maybe didn't want me to go I'm not I'm saying maybe but you know they but it made it made room for people 
and I'm in a place where room where people have moved on and things like that and God is making room for me and it's a new season it's a different season it's not what I once knew and there's nothing wrong with what I once knew or how we once did things but this is a new season and a new way of doing things and as I am willingly releasing what I had already done that God is making room for me to learn because I'm I had went into the season with open hands, an open heart and an open mind. And I did and I did it I left my last season with integrity. And so if God is telling you to do something, make sure you do it with integrity and with the heart for God's people because it matters how we treat each other. God cares how you treat his people. Um you don't you don't treat God's people wrongly and so I believe that God is uh, shutting other doors in my life and he's causing me to end other things so that I can make room I know that he is and so I can make room and I said God are you sure and this morning I heard him say that and then I heard something at church that made me know that it's time for us to make room for him so I believe that God and not to be afraid not to be afraid when it's time to say goodbye oh God I used to be afraid and I get stuck in in transition stuck right there because I don't know how to let go and I don't care about people and I let people back in my life and all of that. And I want to make sure things are right. But God says, I will take care of them and I will take care of you. Do not be afraid to end a season as long as you have the right motives and you have integrity in what you do. Then understand, daughter, that I am making room for you and I will provide for them just like I will provide for you. And so I pray that you be encouraged and you receive this prophetic word in Jesus name. Amen. Now y'all forgive all of this because listen, I was cute earlier, but child, listen. I just woke up from my nap and I was like, I released a prophetic word, but God, this was the most important part of it. And I didn't add that, but I'm not putting back on, not that I wear a lot of makeup, but anyway, now I'm babbling. God bless you. Make room for God.